And now for something completely different. What is going on YouTube? We're going to go a whole new direction now into the realm of History Buffs University. And today we're going to talk about biology, specifically the cuckoo bird, nature's biggest asshole. You might be thinking, well, there's, you know, some crazy shit out there. There's wasps that basically lay their eggs inside of caterpillars. And those eggs kind of just eat their way from the insides out until that caterpillar is just like nothing else. Or, or you've got predators that chase prey, and basically disembowel them. You even got a fungus that can take over the central nervous system of an ant, turn it into a zombie to basically do whatever it wants to do. You may think, well, that's the biggest asshole you can be. But you know what? I, I, I tend to disagree. I think that that is basically an elegant representation of evolutionary tactics. So basically, it's an arms race between different species out there. And they've gotten pretty, pretty slick at what they do. So those other things, it works out. It checks out. It's elegant. But the cuckoo bird has no excuse for their asshole behavior. So let's talk about that right now all right so to truly understand the depth of the asinine asshole that is the cuckoo bird we have to basically clear our minds and picture a clear sunny day where a female cuckoo bird is perched on a branch and she's patiently watching the nest of another bird a bird that's much smaller much more innocent but it's watching that nest and that goddamn bird just isn't leaving the nest so it finally decides it's going to make a hawk noise to scare that bird away from that nest. And as the bird's away, it swoops in there and quickly lays an egg of its own. Before it leaves, it realizes, wow, there's a lot of eggs here. I'm going to kill one of them. So it takes, you know, maybe there were four eggs. It takes one of those eggs. It basically destroys it and flips it out of the nest. And then goes ahead and flies away and never returns again. So let's fast forward to the time where that other bird comes back to the nest and it looks around and it says oh, holy shit i know i had four eggs here this one looks a lot bigger oh well this is cool no big deal and it goes about its day well that extra big asshole egg hatches very early and the very first thing that this hatchling knows how to do is to scope out the other eggs in the nest it, it basically butts his, his ass up to it positions itself just right to flip the egg out of the nest. It keeps doing that until there are no other eggs left in the nest. So the bird comes back and it looks around and it's like, God damn, I swore I had four I had four eggs here. But now I got one hatchling and no eggs. Oh, well, I guess this is okay. No big deal. So it basically works like crazy to feed this one hatchling that's basically twice the size that it should be. It flies away, it brings back food, worms, other things, bugs to this bird that's obviously way too huge. This thing has got a beard, it's smoking a stogie, he damn near has a college degree. Meanwhile, he's like, Ma, give me some food. And the mother's like, okay, yeah, I'll feed you some more. And it just keeps feeding the bird till it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and sometimes this bird ends up being like two three times the size of this mother bird eventually the bird gets big enough it flies away and continues the cycle of complete asininity so what i just described is actually considered to be a parasite this the cuckoo bird is considered to be a brood parasite so that means that it basically takes its own lineage it it goes into another family and inserts its lineage into that genetic pool. So basically by killing all the other babies and, and putting its baby there to be taken care of by that new mother, it has eradicated that mother's genetic code and replaced it with itself, if that makes sense. And you might still be thinking, well, that's not that big of a deal. Let's put that in the terms of a human behavior. A woman who basically just had a, a binge out in Las Vegas, has a baby, and she's like, I don't want to take care of this damn baby. 
So she scopes out a home. She sees a home where there's some, there's a mother and some children in that home. Very stable home. So she decides she's going to break in and replace one of those babies with her own baby. And when she successfully does that, the first thing the baby learns is to kill all the other babies in that house. Yeah, it's pretty sick, right? And then very quickly, it's obvious that that baby does not belong in that household. It's like three times as large. Very big, hulking thing of a fucking baby Huey baby, right? But it keeps feeding the baby, keeps feeding the baby, works her butt off to feed that very large baby. And eventually that baby leaves the house and continues that type of behavior. So there you have it. That is how cuckoos raise their offspring. Complete assholes in the cycle of nature. If you disagree, let me know. Right now, I'm drunk. I don't give a shit. But later when I read the comments, it, it might be different. I might care. But let me know what you think. Are there any other animals out there that you think might beat out the cuckoo bird for being the biggest asshole in nature? Either way, look forward to meeting in the comments. But until then, everybody be safe, healthy, and be nice to each other.